here's a some footage uh, towards the end of my attempt at level capping disruption. Uh, this is really my first first attempt. Uh, I picked Revenant uh, for obvious reasons. Well, mainly because I had a uh, I had an invigoration for him. It is a 250% uh, melee damage and 75% ability efficiency. And so um, I'll just briefly go over my loadout so you know what I'm working with, and then I'll talk about uh, what I learned from it, and uh, yeah, maybe some tips tips for you in case you're thinking about doing a level cap uh, or a level cap attempt. Um, now, uh, first off, I do want to say that this was really fun. I had a really good time. Um, I hadn't really tried doing the level cap disruption before because I didn't want to stay in mission for this long. But I recently found out that on the PlayStation, if you're in solo mode, you can pause the game and then you can put your PlayStation to rest. And then when you turn it back on, you'll still be in mission. So you're able to take breaks. So that was a huge game changer for me. Uh, as you can see, the Onos is destroying those ones. The big fat ones, uh, like that Demolis you just saw, they're actually really squishy. So I think they might have l the lowest armor. But it's hard to hit the heads. Um, that's one thing I noticed with this is with the smaller head hitbox ones that also there's still sticky walls in the game. But with the smaller head um, hitbox uh, dem demolis um, along with the red icon that's on them and all the crap that's going on screen, you kind of have to guess where the head is, which um, for the Onos, it's, Onos has really good headshot multiplier, it feels like, so that was well, that was one thing. I don't know if there's something I can change with my settings. Please let me know if I can do anything to make it easier to see the heads other, other than get good. Um, okay, so let's talk about my loadout and everything. So Revenant, I really like Revenant for level cap. Not, not for just the obvious reason that his 2 is literally, as Pablo called it, god mode. Um, but... His circle, or not his circle, his three on the PlayStation controller, it's a circle, um, is really good movement. You fly around, you can fly under enemies, um, and then you can, here's a little tip, um, when you're doing your circle, if you jump, you want to jump out of it at the very end, and that jump will maintain the uh, speed of the circle, so you can actually get around really fast. So... Um, other than the nice thing about, I'm killing the Acolyte right now, other than the nice thing about the level capping is you get to the point, you see I got 8 Steel Essence, because you basically, it turns into a weekend uh, resource drop uh, booster, because you get the you get the booster stacking with your own booster if you have one. Uh, so anyway, back to loadout, Revenant for the invulnerability. I do have an Invigoration on him, it's like 200%, 250% melee damage, so that's nice. Uh, Basically killing the trash with the condition overload glaive. Uh, I got the Dirja, um, Dirga with the uh, prime laser rifle for the tenacious, uh, <clears throat> you know, crit damage. Shoutouts to Gaz uh, for teaching me that one. And it's just putting viral and heat on everything with its arc coil. Um, so yeah, the glaive did kind of start to fall off, I think, a little bit. It still, it still killed the trash fine, but. I did have to start using the Onos more for the Eximus units. Um, now, uh, as you can see, I'm starting to struggle a little bit. Um, my Onos, it has dexterity on it, but it doesn't have aptitude, so there's no CO on it. And I didn't bring armor strip. I kind of wanted to do it without armor strip because it just felt like when I armor strip it, everything turns into paper. So part of it was the challenge of it being... Uh, the fun of it was the challenge, so. But it's, it's I just found it really fun uh, flying around and just trying to do it as fast as possible, because obviously, you know, take you have to get to like round 46 or something, so you want to go fast. So, you know, you're just like optimizing your parkour velocity. That's one tip I would have if you're thinking about going into this uh, type of uh, endurance disruption. You definitely need some good movement, so at least a couple parkour velocity unless you're playing a frame that already has movement. Uh, Revenant, he, I'd say Revenant needs the parkour velocity even though he does have his three to fly around. But if you have parkour velocity and Revenant's, you're using his three, Revenant's actually really good for moving around fast. As you can see here, the Bailiffs are really hard to kill. Um, 
their head's kind of hard to hit i found even though it is kind of big so maybe maybe i was getting headshots and it just didn't feel like it because i think the bailiffs have like really high uh armor to be honest um i'd have to look it up but they felt like they had way higher armor than the other demolishers um now my other thing that i'm using and as you can see um i think i got life yeah i got health drain here so i'm at 2 hp so i was really scared that if I tried to cast my Mesmer skin, there's that brief duration in between Mesmer skins where you don't have it, and I was scared the health drain was going to kill me. Um, so I started Vazarin dashing. Uh, see, I threw the Glaive a couple times, and it really isn't hurting him. So um, now normally I would just kind of, well, normally I just let them run into the thing and kill them. Here, that right there though, I was trying to kill it so it would kill it faster than um, it could run to the thing. Because what you want to do is, you know, you basically want to um, kill one, and then um, you kill you kill one to demolist, and then let the others run into it, or you kill it faster. Wait, do I hear something? I felt like I hear whispering. Anyway. Um, yeah, but they, they just got really hard to kill. But as you can see, the Ono still kind of pretty much deletes the uh, Eximus if you get a headshot, even with armor. Uh, the only armor strip I have is the Heat, obviously, um, from the from the Deriga and stuff. And then um, I ran into Glaxan, which I actually really like. Uh, it's corrosive cold, so I don't have any green shards. It's just uh, you know 80% corrosive strip, but it actually helps a lot even at this level. And, um, you know, I, uh, I really like the Glaxing because it just spreads to everyone. It applies nine cold really, really fast. So it's going to be even better. Um, you know, I, I do have the Shiver and Contagion on the Derja. Um, but it's going to be even better once the cold, cold status gets, uh, buffed. And it's just really nice to have the cold, um, a good cold procker for the, uh, for the acolytes, so you can headshot them easy and just in general hit them easy, and for the demolists, because uh, I personally don't really like to switch in and out of the operator to tether to tether the demolists, and it doesn't really last that long. So I, I really like like right here. I just cold proc it, and then see I'm trying to hit him, but it's hard to see his head. I'm not even. I think I'm hitting his head. It's it's, it's hard to see honestly. Um, but yeah, prime him up. The only thing, I, I wish I had more status duration on the Glaxian. I think if I'm doing more of a primer type Glaxian, I, I'd do status duration, I think. Um, but yeah, that's this was really fun. Um, I'll skip ahead to the part where I die so you can see. It's kind of sad. Um, the biggest problem is that I didn't have rolling guard. Um, technically, I think I could have survived all my deaths if I had uh, switched to operator. And um, you know, Vazarin dashed because um, I did. I did do the Vazarin. Uh, I did pick Vazarin so I could stack up. Um, but yeah, this is this is good damage. It's uh, you know, it's killing through armor for level four thousand with armor. Uh, so the, I really like the Onos. It's just so powerful. But um, yeah, I got the melee crescendo. Oh, you know what? Oh, that's why I wasn't doing any damage. I'm just noticing now I, I did I never uh, after I revived I never restacked my uh, melee crescendo on the glaive. That's funny. That's why I was doing no damage. Anyway, I, for, I didn't have blood rush on it anyway. I, I fucked the uh, build up. But um, yeah, the Onos is really. It was just I had a really good time. I recommend if you're at that point. Um, you know where the game just isn't challenging and you're just kind of going through the daily tasks of you know grinding your crap try this out it's super fun um if you're on playstation just solo mode you can pause rest your playstation if you're on pc i'm not sure how that will work you might have to keep your computer on i'm honestly not sure um maybe you can put your computer to sleep as long as you don't turn it off it's super fun. As you can see, those ghoul, the big guys that I just killed, they're way squishier than like the bailiffs, so I think they have less armor. Um, but yeah, uh, that is it. Let's skip ahead and I can show you the part where I die. It's really sad. Why is it lagging? The fuck? Oh shit. 
Yeah, I could have tried to keep going, but I only I didn't have any revives left, so I didn't want to lose like 300 steel essence. Um, yeah, I die here. So as you can see, it's still doing damage. I still had enough damage to go at least a few more rounds. But right here, it knocks me out, and then I do my roll because I instinctively roll because of thousands of hours of muscle memory for rolling guard. Um, but yeah, t obviously technically all I had to do was just vaz dash, but I just don't have the me muscle memory to vaz dash. I just roll. So I got, I think I got too close is what happened. Oh man, I was right on its, I had to be right inside of its freaking uh, that range of the pulse. Anyway, yeah, it was super fun. Also playing around the pulse, that's really fun, like just getting better at it. There's just so many like little things you learn how to do when you're doing a run like this. Anyway, um, there it is. I made it to round 40. Uh, I had enough damage to go farther. I, I don't know if I could have gone to 9k though without armor strip, without armor strip or Guncio on the Onos, but I, it may have been possible. Um, or like maybe I could have made it and like I couldn't kill all the Demolists, but I could kill the squishier one. Uh, anyway, no rolling guard was a big mess up. I don't think I'm going to show off the builds. Uh, there's really not much to see. It's just Revenant, um, some parkour velocity, uh, corrosive cold Glaxian, which I really liked. Um, oh, and radiation. And then a heat viral uh, arc coil, uh, Dirja. And then, uh, oh yeah, the Onos was a heat corrosive with no gun CO. I just didn't know how to fit it. And then, yeah, Mela Crescendo Glaive. So yeah, that was my experience trying to level cap. Uh, I think I'll try it again if I get another good, uh, once I get another good uh, relic. Uh, maybe a Corpus one or something. We'll see. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. And have a good day.